Welcome to Advisor Products Webinars. This webinar is entitled Search Engine Optimization, a Basic Introduction. What exactly is search engine optimization? Well, simply put, it's the process of getting traffic from free, organic, or natural search results on search engines like Google. All major search engines such as Google, Bing, and Yahoo have organic search results where web pages are ranked based on what the search engine considers most relevant to its users. In other words, when a potential client does a search for financial advisor in Google, it's desirable for your website to appear at the top of the search results for that search term. Let's take a look at some components of a Google search page. The five components are paid search listings, explanatory content, Google local listings, usually accompanied by a map, news items from major media, and then organic or unpaid listings. These are paid search listings. They're usually in the top left of the Google page, and they can be delineated by the little add uh, button next to the web address that they're highlighting. Google AdWords is complicated. It is the only guaranteed way to be sure that your company will always appear at the top of the search engines. Google AdWords works on a bid system, so how much you have to pay to get top ranking depends on the other companies advertising on the same search term. Advertisers are only charged when a user clicks on their ad, which means your ad does not, you don't get charged if your ad is merely displayed. And different search terms have different costs per click. Broad search terms like financial advisor are generally more expensive than specific search terms like Del Boca Vista financial advisor. If you'd like more information, you can watch our webinar on Google AdWords, and we could certainly help you if you reach out to us at support at advisorproducts.com. Explanatory content is usually some kind of definition. In this case, it's a Wikipedia reference that explains what a financial advisor does and gives people some basic information about the term. Local listings or Google My Business are the ones with maps. These listings are great. Some are paid, some are unpaid, but you can actually get your business listed in these, it's a great thing to do for your local business. It's, it used to be called Google Local and it's a free online platform to tell people in your local geographic area about your business. Since most financial advisors draw their clients from the local area, it's a great way to increase your rankings. It takes only a few minutes to complete and if you'd like instructions, you can click on the link here, or you can email our support team at support at advisorproducts.com, and we'd be happy to help you get set up with it. The next section is news articles. In this case, they're articles from Investopedia, NerdWallet, Forbes, and Money.com. The real section that we want to focus on for the rest of the presentation is the organic or the unpaid listings because this is where we want to increase our rankings. Organic listings are primarily comprised of optimizing your website to rank higher in the organic search listings. This process is commonly referred to as SEO and it should be an ongoing effort. Many people hire professional consultants to perform SEO while others attempt to do it themselves. There's no right or wrong way to do it. There is really no secret formula for success either, unfortunately. It takes an understanding of how your prospects use the search engines combined with a lot of continuous effort. The top factors that determine your ranking include website construction, website content, social media signals, and inbound links. And we're going to go over these one by one. Website construction involves making sure that your website is set up properly, 
to reach out to the search engines and communicate information about what is on your page. That means that you need to have a proper URL structure, the way your website is coded, descriptive navigation, which means that the links on your site need to tell Google what your site is all about. Your design should be responsive, which means that it has to look good on a tiny mobile screen as well as a large format monitor. All of the elements contained in your website should be properly optimized, and that means they have to have code attached to them to tell Google about them. There also has to be a sitemap installed on your website, and that is a special tool that's machine-readable code that tells Google what's on your website. The other thing you need to do is add ongoing content on a regular basis. The good news is, is that advisor product sites are programmatically structured to be optimized for Google. Why content is king? That's a phrase, content is king, that's used in SEO circles. And what that means really is that because Google constantly crawls the web, in search of new or updated websites, having your content updated with valuable information increases your chance of making your Google rankings higher. You want to add content frequently, things like blogs and articles that allow you to optimize your website with the keywords that you want to focus on. And fresh content not only helps you develop long-term loyalty, it helps convert website visitors into clients. So what are the rules for creating good website content? The first thing I start with is to make a list of 10 keywords that you feel that users will most likely use to find your site. Then you wanna create enticing page headlines that use those keywords naturally. You also want to embed those keywords into your page text as often as possible, as long as they make sense both thematically and grammatically. You don't want to just repeat the same word over and over and over again. You want to work them into the text naturally. I also advise people to use short paragraphs, callouts, bold text, bullets, and quotations to make sure that they can get those keywords into the sections of the text as many times as possible. I always tell people too that they should put an enticing call to action on every page of their website. And you want to make sure that your homepage content is updated frequently for the best results. Google rates your homepage as having more weight in the search engine. So having new content on your home page is a nice trick to helping you with your rankings. Google also looks at social media signals as a way to determine your rankings. Social media signals are people's feedback about your website and Google uses this into its search algorithm. So things like shares, likes, and follows on social media can have a positive impact on your search rankings. Creating pages for your business on social media sites like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, Vimeo, they're now pretty much mandatory if you want to increase your Google listings. If you don't have any social media activity, that's going to negatively affect your Google search rankings. Publishing content regularly to these social media sites and putting links back to your website will improve your Google rankings. Inbound links is another thing that Google uses to judge your overall search rankings. It's very important and it's the quality and the quantity of the sites that have links back to your website. So links to your site from reputable, heavily trafficked sites like LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Constant Contact help Google see your site as more relevant 
And that means all of your social media posts should have a link back to your website. Links to your site from other outside services, like maybe your broker dealer, membership in certain associations, other financial product firms, and even local firms are also important. Try and get arrangements so that you can put links back to your website from those larger websites. Another way to get links to your site is via public relations, articles about your firm in the New York Times or your local publication can be a big boon for your rankings. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation on search engine optimization. If you'd like more detailed information on this and other marketing solutions, you can see our full webinar series. And if you'd like a free consultation with our SEO specialist, you can email us at sales at Thank you.